Hey everybody, welcome back into Shopify tutorials. Let's focus into diving of the Shopify product page customization using the latest Shopify 2.0 features. So stay tuned as we explore the advanced tools and techniques to make the product page visibility stunning and highly compelling. I'm gonna make this really quick and easy, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you this website where we have an actual this dropshipping product. But as you can see, when you add in a product, actually it looks kind of messy because you have a really great, great product, but you have uh, different images here this actually goes as a specification to the right pod there's a lot of images in here this is kind of messy so we want to fix that and show you the best uh, product review so let's go back here let's understand why the Shopify 2.0 well, the Shopify 2.0 has really great features and a walkthrough of different changes that I can be showing you today. For example, if you go into your online store, you have the themes, make sure that you have the version of the 2.0 and the release is noticed. You can have and create a new theme library into a theme and visit the theme store. Now here directly into the theme store, you can be showing that there's a lot of actual products that has a really great Shopify 2.0 features and you can explore all the themes that are uh, for free or uh, with different prices. So if you actually focus into the free versions, the free version actually have really great uh, product reviews and actually it doesn't look so bad after all. And make sure that you have the latest. So now it's time to embrace the future of the Shopify and take your product pages to the next level. So once again, remember you have here this product, so what we wanted to do is to try to change how this actually looks. So first of all, if you wanted to set a new theme library, I'm going to install it. And then later on, you're going to hit into customize so you can see how it's going to be looking now. Let's get into the hands on. So let's explore the layout options and the sections available in Shopify 2.0 for the product pages from hero banners to product grids. Let's cover them all. So as you can see now, we have this new bow and it says uh, 12.0. So let's go into customize before we publish it. Now, what I want to do is to focus into only and only one product page. So let's go here into my product page. In this case here, we do have it. So as you can see, it doesn't look uh, really well because we wanted to actually organize everything here. So there's two things that you can do in order for making the customization of a page. Whether you wanted to do this manually or you can do this with in a specific page theme um, template. So um, as you can see, it actually sounds, looks a little bit messy here. So first of all, what I wanted to do is to try to aim for so something really easy. And first of all, in order to change the everything here is to make sure that you have the right uh, product here, the title, the color, the quantity, add to cart, buy it. Now, usually just leave this like that. You can change this later. But as you can see, the specifications and the difference between these images that doesn't look so real. So first of all, I want to disable the sticky content. And I'm going to go for the constrained media to screen hide and make this a little bit more medium. So I use this for as thumbnails because it's much more better or thumbnail carousel, what you wanted to. Now it looks a little bit more, uh, so much better. So this is something really easy to do. Now, what I want to do is to hit into save. You don't want to publish this. Here's the original version and the fill. Uh, doesn't look so bad after all. But what I want to do is to try to aim to have the best result. So let's try to create our very first template. If you go into applications, let's go into PageFly. Now PageFly is a page builder that sometimes is totally for free, sometimes a free bosun. But what I wanted to do is to get started with a very first uh, PageFly application. So here into PageFly, what I want to do is to get started with create my new page. And here I'm going to go for product. Now here I wanted to create from a template of a product. Now, as you can see, we do have a lot of templates that we can choose of a specific product. Of course, there are a lot that are for free. There are a lot that are paid, of course. But what we want to do is to focus into one that uh, aims for what we are actually trying to sell. In this case, it would be an actual product. So let's go here into the typed product page. The industry should be electronics or books and music and videos style. You can choose whatever style you want to. So as you can see, this is the default uh, template that we do have now. So what I want to do is to change the image here. So I hit into select, I hit into upload or go for open media files. 
And since this is only for a specific product, what I want to do is to make sure that I select my products. I have here the media and I wanted to download this media so I can use it. I go for select. And as you hear, as you can see here it is. And there we go. So if I hit into the icon, I choose select icon. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that I can choose. And turn the switched and go for save. After that, the page will be ready for the preview. Let's go for save. And there we go. Remember, it's all about details. We're focusing to customizing individual elements, the imaging product, the description, the buttons, everything. So I wanted to share the tips with creating simply engaging user experience. What I did here is to add colors that are related into my product. Exactly the same thing that is inside the product I added and implemented into my actual preview. So this is the aspect of your product pages of the maximum impact you needed to take in mind when it comes to creating a really, really great product page. So after you hit into published, uh, the page details and the page assessment here is gonna be looking like this. So as you can see, here's the URL and I hit now into continue. Now your page is ready for the preview. I wanted to apply this into a specific product, which in this case, it would be my hard case. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down, choose the product and hit into publish. And of course, the selected product page will be replaced to revert back to original product use on publish the page. So go for it, don't remind me again. I keep now into published. So we come from something really messy like this. From this, actually come from this. And now we do have something much more interesting here. So as you can see, it does look so much more interesting when it comes to buying a really great product. That's the reason why you wanted to get started with a glimpse into the world of the Shopify 2 product page customization. So guys, I hope you find this insight valuable in elevating your online store processes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Feel free to drop your questions or suggestions to the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video as we continue to master Shopify together. Remember, you have the link down below in the description to start getting into Shopify totally for free. See you guys on the next one.